Hello and welcome to this episode of Cyberpunk 2077. I'm your host Michael and here we are again with another episode. Hope you guys are doing great today. Let's get this show on the road, shall we? Let's go. Attention all Dogtown residents, this is Kirk Hansen. An unmarked aircraft is crashed in our district. The crash site is now a restricted area. My people will proceed to secure it. The rest of you, go home and stay there. That is, unless you want to catch a stray bullet. I'm imposing a state of emergency in Dogtown until further notice. More news to come as the situation develops. She's not here. It means she's not coming. You seen the swarms Hansen has out hunting? Might have nabbed her. Possibility. One that concerns me the most. I need to find her. You don't leave your people behind enemy lines. Could I still buy that fairy tale bullshit? Whatever happened, we have to help her. Listen, I know we had a calm night, but you gotta leave Dogtown. How? In a car trunk? Fingers crossed? Hanson's waiting for that sort of desperate attempt. Okay. There gotta be a way. Let me think. Know my share of fixers. Bet we could get one Out to- Out of the question. They'll hand me over to the highest bidder. Gotta talk backup plan. Not a plan. A man. The kind we need. Solomon Reed's the name. Seven years ago, he headed up our intelligence efforts in Night City. He and so me were a team. With the conflict over, he went into hibernation. So he's out there somewhere. Reed's a man of principle. He can't be swayed, can't be bribed. If there's anyone we can trust now, it's him. A sleeper agent? No shit. Tell me more. Unless that's like a state secret or whatever. It is. Of the false bottom drawer variety. Let's say you want to secure your interests on another country's soil. If diplomacy fails, you resort to other means. Like a military coup. That's one option. Solomon Reed is another... Sure, one. Reed guy sounds like an ace up your sleeve. Could have played him already. Activating a sleeper agent is no simple matter. You'll need a dog whistle. A what now? Don't tell him I called it that. It's a signal only Reed will hear. It'll be tricky. Huh. There was a secret comms channel accessed only from a Capitan Caliente nearby. The FIA used it before the war. The access code was... 0931. Got a bad feeling, V. Meaning an analog landline. <laughs> that crash tear open a hole in space time? When sending sensitive information, you use the technology least vulnerable to interception, old or not. That Caliente should still be wired for it. Owner have a thing for antiques? He had a thing for federal money. And he might still be alive. Remember, 0931. Okay, seems doable. And I prefer discretion to destruction. I trust that's clear. Uh-huh, so what'll happen next? Reed will need to screen you. You'll show him this. It means you work for us, 
What the? the file will be created for you in the FIA database. Wait, back up. Tell me I'm a special agent now. That's right. But taking the oath make it feel more real. Secret comms line, presidential token. What's next? The coded message in today's scream sheet? That token is for your safety. If Reed isn't 100% certain I sent you, he won't hesitate to kill you. Yeah, nah. Let's skip the formal thing. Is there a problem? It's just a big commitment, you know? Can't swear to something I don't believe in. It's your choice. I understand this was sudden. Good luck out there, V. And don't let the bastards nab you. Since we're kind of undercover, you don't have to do this, but me, I'm gonna, oh well, I'm gonna change, uh, I'm gonna put myself into a hat. <laughs> I'm gonna change this to a, probably a coat. And we're undercover, so. Scott. Not bad looking, don't really like it though. Not my style. Let's see what these look like. Pretty much what I expected. Hey, made the right call not taking that fascist ass oath. Oh yeah? Some causes are worth pledging your life to, V. This ain't one of them. How'd you come to that? Cause with the biz done, their arm will still be far up your ass and you'll be a meat puppet. No, I was once at Corpo Jarhead, right? Practically dove into uniform head first. They had a real hard on for the oath. Repeat after me, bloody fucking blah. But can't remember what I solemnly pledged to do. Sure, you want to talk about this? Gotta hand it to you, V. Wiser than I was back in the day. Above me. So they're 
above me or below me? Huh. That smoke mean Dogtown chose a new pope? Maybe the Veep crashed Space Force too. Curious as I am, we got an important call to make. Sheesh, what's your link to this area? This is Pacifica's bumping, thumping business heart, where the real deals are done. So, we finally gonna meet in person? I can say neither yes nor no. In lieu of an answer, I've new work for you. I hope you'll accept. One last thing. How you breach Dogtown's border, I'm not certain. Though, I suspect not via the main gate. Irrelevant in any case. I've secured clearance for your future convenience. Your name and likeness now registered in the system, granting unfettered passage over the district threshold. Talk again soon. I believe he also gives you a new vehicle. Yeah, right here. Not much, but you don't need much in Dogtown anyway. What do you need, boss? Look like a chum has been around detail. Around? Shit, player! This is my home turf. Who do you think I am? Hmm. You talking to the Pacifica Typhoon, chum? 
AKA the DT Prodigy. Yeah, okay, that one ain't my fave. Uh, when they was pumping me with boosters, could blast 100 meters in 6.0. Yeah, you heard right. Now I ain't do hardly 100 a day, no more. But what I'm saying is, hell yeah, I've been around. Got some pretty unique places around here. This hood just exuding clever now, ain't it? <laughs> Into the stadium. Quite a sight. Uh-huh. They had big plans to set up shop there, you know? But whoa! The competition whooped my typhoon ass. Y you know, Nighthawks was roosting there while Hanson was still shitting his diapers. How's it go? Good times make bad tunes, then bad tunes fuck shit up. Bottom line is all about the eddies. Who got the most scratch? Hanson. Stadium ain't his main biz, oh no, but I ain't gonna say no more on that, huh? Even got a pyramid. Hard to miss that one. Pretty preem, hmm? Fixes things up for show. Beers talks get drowned out by wild party hubbub and tracks that are fire. Privacy guaranteed, hmm? Bottoms open to all the riffraff. Upper levels, though? Shit's for VIPs, big players, big beers, feel me? Maybe gonna visit myself. <laughs> Banging tunes, dance slides of Snow White, and the biz is in tune. That's how you get in the major leagues. Big skyscraper. Know anything about it? Uh, the suits called it the Black Sapphire way back when. Folks call it the hotel or tower these days. Place is gilded, I hear. Pretty much out of reach for us mortals. Apple of Hans's eye, his golden egg. He wanna make tunes with you. He gonna invite you there. He had a view from the top of motherfucking Nova. Might be a little crazy, but I ain't cray cray enough to find out for myself. Since we're already talking. Yeah, yeah, well, what you think? Typhoon Ronnie, huh? You serious? Scan the old screamers if you were doubt. Old Ronnie was a legend. In the making. Huh. How'd your, uh, rising star suddenly flop? Well, there's this chick, uh, Fiona. It had this, um, center for gifted youth and shit. Future sports stars. All good, right? We, we talking, uh, roof overhead, real food, training, boosters and chrome. Uh, heaps of chrome, Choom. Shit was all rainbows and roses till you stumbled. And Choom... I fucking wiped out. Landed in the D-Town street with mean-ass migraines and insomnia. And I was lucky, too. Since I got you, I was gonna ask... Hit me, Chew. Days slower than a molasses flood. Hey. Capitan Caliente. Closed? Shut and boarded. Owner talk shit about Kurt. Mad disrespect. Had no choice. Hanged itself out back. Hey, you a fresh face, so listen up. Here in D-Town, you watch what you say. Talk shit to the wrong chew, blam, you're dead. Man of biz you are, so let's cut a deal. I slip you a few heads, you tell me how to slip inside. You paying for trouble, but okay. Don't ever bail on Eddie's, huh? <laughs> the new <clears throat> owners are draining power from down the road. Check the cables on the wall. Sure to connect somewhere. Tink around, reset the power. Bet your security trinkets just might go dark. Sounds promising. Let's see what you got. Premiest shit you ever seen!
I guess I'll take uh, <clears throat> a souvenir. Why not? I'm gonna sell the stapler though. I'm gonna tire iron. Uh, yeah, we don't need medical gauze. He probably ain't gonna have enough money to sell all these. Follow the cables. There's a rare ripper dog who works pro bono, Anthony Anderson. Were it not for his clinic on Montana de Oro, Dogtown's poor and unfortunate would have nowhere to turn. And so it happened. Scavenger struck. It appears they've an issue with Anderson himself. The good doctor shut his office, lost access to all comms. His man, Odell Blanco, awaits you at the clinic. <clears throat> Discuss the matter with him, and remember... Dr. Anderson's to remain unscathed.
Well, that scared the shit out of me. Watch out for that. Attention all Bum bum be dum bum bum be dum. Captain Caliente. Guy clearly went down with this place. Stash house by the looks of it. Right. Let's see what's here. Well, that was another way to get in. I looked. Antique. Junkie variety. Wonder if it even works. Come on. 
answer. I'll have a double cheeseburger while you're at it. Uh, anyone there? Hello? Fossil's probably busted. Or you flubbed the number. What the fuck do we do now? Who's this? Call me V. Andrew Jackson, basketball court. Daytime. Noted. Not exactly loquacious, our man of mystery. Could just prefer text. Damn sure I do. Ain't nothing without your help. Check out Ronald's Prime Sting. Keep your eyes peeled. Is the enemy suspicious? Report. Vance's elbow has a hitch. Hey, you! Dude needs an upgrade. Think huh. it'll hitch today? Oh, not a doubt in my mind it'll hitch. First time in the area. It always so... <laughs> calm around here. Calm? <laughs> Guess you chose the right day, Holmes. Beeps are usually <laughs> packing iron, ready to jump. Watch yourself after dark, yeah? Your faces attract attention. The bad kind. Feel me? A piece of the plane smashed into our kitchen. You believe that? What? Everybody okay? There are seats in the house. Gonna be a game to remember. Johnny Silverhand. Basketball fan? That's new. You know what I mean. Another game started. One where your head's the fucking ball. Felt the same thing. Something nasty's brewing. Fucking storm's what's brewing. Don't let the sunshine fool you. You're up against seasoned players, whereas you just stumbled onto the court. These are trained sociopaths. Pretend to be your friends while they fucking ain't. So go out and play. Just don't get played. Just come out and say it. You don't trust Myers. No, her type is all. Politicians? Worse. Armed forces. 
Saying no to high-ranking cunts like putting your mouth over the barrel of their gun. Get shitty fast if you try to run. Take it from a deserter. Dauntless Johnny Silverhand, scourge of megacorps. Here we go. Vanquisher of hypocrisy, bolted from the army. Give this man his fucking encore. Gonku enlisted was Robert John Linder. Got roped in with easy cash, promise of fame, glory. Linder snuffed it. Was a different kid who crawled home from the front. That's how Johnny lost Johnny, his Johnny, I... I didn't mean to. It's okay. Was a long time ago. One thing I did learn caked in blood and mud. What was that? After every carrot comes the stick. Allow me to illustrate. Every grunt gets a rifle, flak jacket, and a bunch of promises. Comes a time you're out of ammo, Kevlar's tattered cardboard. And what's left of the promises? Fuck all, I'm guessing. Exactly. And that's when they reach for the stick they call values. Getting shelled in your dugout, tombs are taking refreshing phosphorus showers, and some officers ranting about loyalty and duty. The moment you stop shitting carrots and they wave the value stick, fucking run, rabbit. Run. Sounds like you got some shit to work through. Gotta face your demons sometimes, Johnny. Didn't actually have a problem with them. Till now. Politicians, military runners, intelligence operatives, and Colonel Hansen for dessert. All the rotten fish in one fucking barrel, this dog town. Don't turn around. Eyes on the court. Uh. Hands, what you holding? Got this token. Mean anything to you? But I need to make sure. Keeps his cards close, this one. Who sent you? Mutual friend. We don't have mutual friends. Friend survived an accident. He might have heard. I might have. Zone defense, that. Keep pushing. Is she safe? Hard to say. The longer we sit here. That's it. Dribble around him. You follow? You even bother to check? Dunno. Wasn't looking for a tail. Well. You get one point for being candid. Atta boy. Black Thornton Merriman, on the street. Three minutes, front seat. That it? Interrogation over? Already was starting to have fun. Reed? Slippery motherfucker. I think we really hit it off. Sure. Betty's got candy in that van. Ready to find out? Hey, you see the guy I was talking to a millisecond ago? Big guy? Coat looking like he's planning on flashing some kids, huh? Hey, shut it or get lost. Blackthorn. Oh, there's one here somewhere. I'll have to get it later. Before we go, 
apologies for the precautions. I only ever rest so much. Sometimes it's just safer to shove the barrel of a Malorian between a Chun's ribs, even if he is on your side. It's nothing personal. No hard feelings, I hope. No. No hard feelings. It's all good. Had to make sure I'd have done the same. Is that so? You're not in the biz, V. Al biz. <laughs> what gave me away? You got into a stranger's car. You're lucky I am who I claim to be. I combed FIA data for info about you. An arresting profile. Nomad. Back at clan. No longer extent. Now a freelance merc. To make things more interesting, FIA agent. You received a commission last night. One thing eludes me. What drove you to get entangled in this mess? Songbird hired me. Know her? Show me. Something up? We used to work together. I thought I heard the last about her, but... That girl's a magnet for trouble. Right. It's time we paid our friend in distress a visit. Address, please. Just, uh, FYI. Not so sure you're gonna like it. Try me. Abandoned building on Crest Street, 8th floor. Damn straight I don't like it. You left her alone? In Dogtown? Was I supposed to drag her along while cruising around? Mm. Actually? Look, place seemed plenty safe to me. Safe? A derelict building in Dogtown. Just listen to how that sounds. Hold up. I need to take this. Why are you calling me on my day off? Last I heard, you're the manager. Ask Bob. He owes me a favor anyway. Yeah, well, tough nuts. You'd have to manage without me. Boss, man. I work the door at a club. Selection, you know, bouncing. FIA special agent. Bouncing away time at a club. The job attracts ex-cops and commandos, too. I know a few. They're a tough bunch. Trouble. Easy to blend in with over beers. Seems uh, good to me. This is not how I imagine spending my day off. Saving the president? Great action BD shit right there, am I right? Yeah, sure, I guess so. Does my eyes still smoke? Snitches get stitches, man. So that'll be a yes. Not good. When things start to spiral out of control, she's likely to light up. It's high time we help her out. Let's go. So this is the place. Eighth floor. Yeah. Lead the way. <laughs> yeah, I'm like in here, dude. Honestly, this is not inspiring confidence. She's capable of taking care of herself, you know. I actually had uninvited guests last night. Ejected via the garbage chute. Sometimes that's the only way out.
If anyone had tried to extract her forcibly, this whole level would be in shambles. No way she would have gone quietly. Take point. Open up, it's me. Is this how you greet me? Uh... Sorry. Roslyn, are you alright? I'm good. Glad to see you are too. Hmm. You remembered my number. Some numbers you never forget. Never with me, Roslyn. You never intended to call that line. Well, I found myself in Night City with a bounty on my head. So, it seemed the right moment to reach out, have a tete-a-tete, -tete, reset an old friendship. I'd offer to sit down and chat over coffee, but the clock's ticking. I need to arrange a passage for you to Washington. No, Reed. We need to talk first, all three of us. Here. The President, a merc, and a special agent walk into the Oval Office. Question is, where do I fit into this joke? You You've seen the, the news. Uh-huh. Hansen's spin work never fails to amuse. He's not acting purely on his own initiative. Someone from our camp's propping him up. Hansen, any idea who he's in bed with? Roslyn has more enemies than you can count. This shit runs deeper, Reed. I wasn't alone on that flight. I heard So Me was on board. Where is she now? V was the last person to talk to her. Most likely scenario. Got caught in some ice in the combat bob when she acted. One little mishap. Happens even to the best. But no way to know for sure. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, we need hard evidence, not speculation. Reed, I needn't remind you what this means for the NUS's national security. Besides, she's your prodigy, Saul. You taught her all your tricks. Hell, even recruited her. She and V have a unique... Uh, bond. It's a lead. Our only one for now. You two have to find her. Together. I already died for the cause once. Not enough? What do you mean, already died? What has Myers told you about me? Said you led an intelligence cell here. Went into hibernation at war's end. So she omitted the fact that Arasaka tried to smoke me. <clears throat> and that I ended up in intensive care with three bullet holes. That six months had passed before I could take a shit on my own. Huh. Might have slipped her mind. Convenient. Well, now you know. God, that suck. Let me get this straight. You abandon Reed and NC, leave him for dead, and now expect him to jump right back into his shit? Newsflash, Madam President. Got a hell of a debt to pay. You're right. I'm sorry, Reed. For those seven years. Is that enough? To get us a fresh start? I'm here. I'll help. But I'm doing it for Somi. And my country. Call me naive if you like. As for you, V, you said in the car a songbird hired you, correct? I don't know how much she's paying, but you better ask yourself, is it worth it? Some things are more important than Eddie's, Reed. That, we agree on. We all got our reasons. Mine's even got a name, The Relic. If I don't find so me, I'm literally a dead man. Seems we're all on the same page now, V. Which means we can help each other, too. Agreed. Think so, too. If we want to find Somi, 
we gotta dig deep. I mean, actual reconnaissance. No stone unturned. We need contacts, informers not afraid to sing, who might see something in it for themselves. You'll need to earn their trust. Big ask in Dogtown. Won't be easy. I need to arrange a safe passage to Washington for Myers. Expect my call soon, V. Thanks. For everything. Buy me a nice dinner sometime. <laughs> you do this often? Invite presidents out on dates? Often enough. Okay. Dinner it'll be. Just gotta survive till then. All right, I need to make some calls. Now you could stay. But if you do stay, you'll be stuck here. So it's better to leave now. How's the dressing? Still dry? Stitches all in place? Jum, it hurts like hell. I can barely stand. Hmm. I can't up your morphine. Won't be enough for the others. We'll all rot without Anderson anyway. Odell Blanco? Name's V. Fixer said you need a hand. <laughs> More like a miracle. If the scavs don't scatter soon, our patients will start dropping in the street. It looks like a woman's implant. Not adjusted to your weight. What? Like I had my pick of chrome? Nah, I just gotta tweak the load capacity. Knee joint settings first. See if that helps. Huh. Well, that we haven't tried. This place used to be a church. Yes, mine. But these days? Few seek absolution, while many more need transfusions or fresh implants. 
At least you're still helping him. True. But where's a priest to confess? What do the scavs want from the head doc? Well, there's this girl with them, Nika Yankovic. Said she's looking for her brother. What, he a patient of yours? Look, that's all I know. She wanted to talk to Anthony and seemed really upset. The scavs still let you look after the patients. In a sense. Then Nico ordered them to take us all outside. Nobody's allowed in. Said it was between her and Anthony. She doesn't want anyone killed. Hmm. Or anyone talking later. Scavs got all the doors covered. Make one, sure. Heard them setting up inside. But you know, they broke in through a window. Could still be a way there. Once you're in, head to Anthony's office. Find the altar, hang a right. Stairs will take you to the basement. If the scavs hurt Anthony, well, then all these people are out of luck. Leave it to me. Nika drag us here. Dunno. Wouldn't say. All I got was something personal. Attention all residents. This is Kurt Hansen. Damn it. Which 
Waving that around. Tell her what you know. Nobody gets hurt. I'm sorry. Do you work for me or the scavs? Talk for fuck's sake! Ugh, what the fuck? You, Merc! Help me! Nah. Not zeroing anyone just because you don't want to use your words. I can't fucking believe this. Gasper's dead. What? You're lying! He was just a little sick! Your brother was so high out of his mind, it scorched his metabolic editor. The kid was in a coma before he even hit the table. Huh? How'd he die? Morphine injection. His remaining implants were at risk, and I've got patients who need them. To hell, your other patients! You... Couldn't risk your killing him. Finally. You couldn't have done that from the start? You know, I could have, but I didn't want her to die. Let me get this straight. You take in peeps as they come, then decide who's donating? I've yet to write off anyone who could be helped. When your clinic lacks for literally everything, you need to be pragmatic, make tough choices. Which hand holds the scalpel? The other one. At least we dodged that bullet. Did what you hired me for. That don't mean I think Nika's wrong. One thing, Merc. Unless you spent the day in my shoes, in my clinic, doing my job, you've got no right to judge me. The patients, what's their status? With Odell out in the street, waiting. Tell him it's all clear. It's time we got back to work.
premium work fee. I offer to send a hand to You're remove back? all Good. those scavenger remains, but Anderson declined. Something about taking a look at them first. I can only assume he's in shock. The funds are being transferred as we speak. Your job is finished. All clear now. Anderson's inside, alive. A little drunk. That's a relief. Thank God, thank you. So we can go back in? Sure can. Nika won't be giving you any more trouble. Listen, V, stop by later. Once everything's back to normal. Might not have the latest, shiniest chrome, but you're no snob. Anthony will make the price just right. So, how's the lake? Better? <laughs> Night and day. We met my knee now. Not too easy. But easy now. Go shooting hoops just here. In description, a big ass motherfucker with a full face plate. Armed, dangerous, not responsive when you attempt to contact. Fire now. My synth lungs were hacked, I choked, turned blue, then lost consciousness, and woke up. My client, Indira Baratso, won't be so lucky if she doesn't strike a deal with her blackmailer. The lowlife in question, Milko Alexis. He works for the Voodoo Boys. You know what to do. If anything's unclear, read the attached details. Ah, oh, bitch. gonna die now. It's her hitting me. <sighs> anyway. Hang on back, I keep Palueno, we until. Message to user. Thanks, Tomb. 
vivant et après les Coup de tonnerre ah. Stains can be removed using one easy trick and vinegar. Ah! New magazine detected. Message to user. Thanks, Jim. here. Wait! Don't shoot! I'm just here on Biz! You have Biz with the Voodoo Boys? Yeah. Well, used to. After what you just did, thinking they'll want a new supplier. Voodoo's can't just go to a Ripper for their chrome? This cyberware isn't for installing. It's for tinkering. Some kind of experiment. Research on implants. What was all that about? Don't know, don't care. I got enough problems. Milko Alexis, a voodoo boy. Know the name? Yeah. About all I know, though. Guy practically lives in the net. Seems like he's got everyone walking on eggshells. Big deal, I guess. Where can I find him? Don't ask me. I've got enough problems as it is. Talk, or your skull really will be in pieces. You don't scare me. Doc! Fucking psycho! Oh, fuck the nose! Oh, it hurts like a motherfucker! Ready to talk? Fine, fine, whatever, just stop! Right, so these implants. The voodoos break most of them down. 
looking for code exploits, new hacks, and so on. Whatever they don't use, they install in old robots. Piles of scrap, most of them, but one came together real nice. Robots? What for? What for? Think for a sec. If this Milko guy's so important, probably needs round-the-clock protection. Help the Voodoo Boys build a small army. Surely you know how to beat it. How's your aim? I manage. Hmm. The Voodoos, they keep their bots in some kind of server room. I can overload the disk arrays, then you... You fuck up the servers till they go boom. Should result in a pulse big enough to melt the circs of the rank and file. Okay, feel free to Delta. I got work to do. Hmm. Must be nice. Activating defense systems, 40%. Hey, hey, careful with that. I'm linked to the runner, see? Don't want him to catch a ricochet, huh? Netrunner, blackmailer, murderer. He's my hit. He has some dirt under his nails, yes. But Milko, he's a no one. 
A small fish in a big pond. I am Agent Alan Noel, Netwatch. Organized crime specialist. I'm sure we can work something out. Okay, Agent Alan Noel, Netwatch, organized crime specialist. Get out of my way. At least let me unplug from Milko. Fine. But so much as a twitch, and you're a flatline. That's better. Now, listen to me. You can't kill Milko. Not yet. Want to stop me? Try. Months I've suffered this place. Hold up with these scabs on society. I aim to expose their web of blackmailers and murderers, like Milko. But to do that, I have to find out who's pulling the strings first. This Milko guy worked for you? Your source? I piggyback whenever he jacks into the net. Try to pin down who's feeding him orders. Give me a chance. Do you realize how many more people you can save this way? I have reports of victims all along the coast. Milko is only one of the runners working for the Voodoo Boys. As soon as I find the head behind the operation, I can chop it off and end this for good. I need Milko. His death alone won't change anything. Understand? Guess you'll have to manage without Milko. Do not do this. Fuck! Do you have any idea what you just did?
She loves me. Who doesn't love me? Come on. Alright, let's sell some shit. I say we got another iconic, a smart pistol. ago, scavengers hit a transport. The tech vanished, as did the guards. The latter will presume for good. Now, that would just be another day in Dogtown, until I received word from Zeta Tech's CEO. The transport, though unmarked, happened to be theirs. Among the plethora of tech stolen, there was one precious eye implant and its schematics. The poor scavs seem unaware of its built-in GPS tracker. You'll follow their SIG. Go to the scab's nest in the scraper in the longshore stacks. I've sent you more details in writing.
the other hand. Motherfucker's hacking! Wow, he survived. I bet he won't survive. From behind! No! Friggin' survived that! Message to you. Thanks, Tomb. Fight fair! You're the one throwing grenades. Motherfuckers taking out our best! Oh, 
You, over here. <laughs> oh, was that you shooting up the place? I almost feel sorry for them. Almost. Let me guess. Zeta take higher. I think I know why you're here. Client lost some items. Tech stuff. Like, say, a prototype and some schematics, huh? They might have locked me up, but I kept the signal pinging from my prototype. I knew the corp would send someone eventually. Uh-huh, cute. Now the short version. Who are you? Hassan Demir, Zeta Tech engineer. Only survivor of the scav ambush. How'd you get caught with your pants down? Zeta Tech didn't map the route. It was an undercover operation. Minimal security, maximum secrecy. <laughs> Only language scavs speak is brute force. Think you forgot Dogtown ain't Night City. Noted. Now, I have a proposition. Get me out, and I help you find the tech. Yes? Sole survivor, huh? Mercy's not in the scavs' M.O. Gotta have something they want. Hmm, you could say that. What they need is my implant. And that, my friend, is priceless. Wait, wait. Tell me you planted that tech in your own damn skull. Well, I figured it was the safest way. The border control scans don't recognize unreleased tech. In retrospect, it does seem, uh, rather foolish. Then again, it bought me a few hours of life. We're a package deal, the prototype and I. You won't get it while I'm here, withering away. More luck than sense, this one. How gonk you gotta be to chip yourself with prototype tech? No offense, V. Of course, unless Zeta Tech forced him into it, made a guinea pig out of it. Shouldn't we be going? Prototech's capricious, erratic. For a Zeta Tech engineer, she sure took a big gamble planning that thing. Indeed, a gamble. Yet the alternative was far more dangerous. Right. And Big Daddy Zeta Tech, all cool with letting some Dogtown Ripper fuck around with Papa's priceless prototype. Papa was not informed of the decision. Now. Can we please take this conversation outside? Why all the drama over some measly implant? Some implant? Measly? Please, this design is a potential Kiroshi buster. <clears throat> we at the firm learned some Santo Domingo riffraff stole it from Arasaka Industrial Park. Naturally, we investigated. I was to conclude the sale at the stadium. Hush hush, not so much as a beep on Arasaka's radar. And well, here I am. Here's an idea. I go in there, yank that chrome out of your skull, and hit the road. I'll tell you what I told those savages. There is no way to extract it short of a ripper dock. You yank, it's ruined. Prototype's all I need. It's condition, whole nother gig. That still leaves the schematics. Uh, listen, I can show you where they're holding them. So that's your scheme, huh? Fine. Try anything funny, though. There is a time and a place to be funny. This isn't it. Yeah. Now, to crack open this door. Bypass the security? If you can't, the guard room's nearby. Maybe they have a passcode. Right. Back in a nanosec. Two seven five three.
Well, I see Zeta Tech spared no expense in hiring a real professional. Now your time to shine. How do you know where these schema docs are at? Their workshop. The scavs took me there, forced me to remove the security protocols on the tech they'd swiped. Uh huh. Lead the way then. And no gonk moves. Jesus, is that... Harry? The man was a real prick, but this... It's barbaric. I suppose this would have been my fiery grave if you hadn't shown up. Burned at Zeta Tech. Nearly burned here. Ah... <sighs> Right, right. This is it. It's got to be here. Somewhere. Found it! Prem, got it. Stick close. We'll get you out of here. Wait. I heard you slaughtering them. Which means so did half of Longshore. This place is about to be swarming with scavs. You got an idea? Let's hear it. The drawbridge. I've seen the scavs use it. I suppose it's their emergency exit from the scraper. We'll vanish before they realize. Little to no risk. See? Not as burdensome as you thought I was. It's time we were on our way. Couple more steps. Keeping it quiet. Out of sight, out of harm. If they don't spot us, we'll be just fine. Come on, Hassan. Keep it together. I'm here to myself, guys. Man, I'm sneezing bad. <laughs> now to disable the bridge. Better not have scavs on our backs, no? <laughs> wow. We're lying about being an engineer, huh? Hey! As long as it stops working. Should be safe here. Ah, I owe you one, truly. It was getting quite ugly back there. Sure thing. Not like I'm leaving empty-handed, right? Well, uh, I suppose I can take it from here. I'll tell my superiors you did one hell of a job. Oh, no, no, no. You'll sit tight while I call my fixer, grab some transport. Sure, he'll want to handle the prototype personally. No, no, wait. I, uh... I can't go back to Zeta Tech. You know what? Getting on my nerves now, Chum. You get one answer. What the fuck's your deal? And my deal, uh... uh I don't intend to return to Zeta Tech. I plan to grab the prototype and vanish into Dogtown. I had a buyer. I was waiting on the signal to run. Then the scavs attacked and everything went to shit. Going back, it... it would be a death sentence. Why are you so hell-bent on clipping this tech? Do you even have the faintest idea how much it's worth? Oh, more in your life, right? Ah, I have no family, no friends. I gave my life to the corporation. The sacrifices I made. And for what? What life? The bastards stole it! The money from the prototype would have afforded me a fresh start. How'd you imagine playing a Megacorp? <laughs> Must have had some kind of plan. I did, though I couldn't do it all on my own. I arranged a buyer at Dogtown Stadium. We would have met, were it not for these savages. 
buyer could have hazed you, though. True. So I had the prototype implanted. It became my bargaining chip. He knew he couldn't harm me without jeopardizing the tech. I was to vanish during the convoy's inspection at the border. I arranged an unmarked car, bribed the guards, but then the ambush... well... Wait. How in the hell do you think that was gonna go? I tell my fixer, sorry, shit out of luck, prototype bounced? Just say it got lost, moved, I don't know. I cut the signal. Your fixer can have the schematics. They're just as valuable. You connive and fuck. Should have schemed a little harder before you squirmed into a Sokka Zeta scavenger shit witch. I fucked up, okay? If I'd known. Please, if you send me back, I'm dead. Newsflash, Chum. Dead already. They'll find you and snuff you before you walk with that tech. Then, I give up. Kill me. I'm not being dramatic. I'd rather die by your hand than their tortures. Keep your eyes peeled. Doing it my way. Call on my fixer. You, sit tight and shut up. Right. Okay. I beg you. Please don't send me back to the corp. Hands. Sitch got tangled. Rescued a Zeta Tech hostage. Sole survivor of a scav ambush. I see. This impedes your assignment. How, exactly? Well, my chum here planted the prototype in his eye socket. Gonna need a ride. Inconvenient, but not disastrous. Coordinates, please. His escort back to Zeta Tech will arrive shortly. Don't send him back to Zeta Tech. I'd like you to find him a mean chrome dock, extract the tech, and let him walk. Hmm. I assume you have a kind benefactor in mind to sponsor your friend's operation. Come on, Hans. You gotta have some favor to call in. Won't cost you a damn any. True. Consider this a gesture of goodwill. A solid foundation for our mutual cooperation. I have to say, I'm intrigued, V. Is this man worth the effort? Know all too well what those Zeta pricks got in store for him. So I thought, you know what? Fuck him. Done and done. I appreciate you having my back there. Truly. Here for the schematics. Yeah, here you go. Cream. I'll take it from here. Attention all residents, this is Kurt Hansen. Enemy collaborators have infiltrated downtown. That means end USA spies and agitators are Keep your eyes peeled. You see anything suspicious, report Commendable work, V. My people will take it from here as per our agreement. Expect your compensation shortly.
officers are in need of rescue. And who but you could save those sworn to protect us? Now, these two little piggies went to market, struck a deal with one of Hansen's men, Dodger. What could go wrong, you think? Correct. Everything. Stella, the fiancé of one of our officers, will fill you in. Best of luck. In. Stella? Something the matter? Get down. Can't get spotted by Dodger's men. If it makes you feel better. Listen, this is serious, okay? You don't mess with Dodger's people. Okay, <laughs> sure. Pretty comfy, actually, this. Need your help with my fiancé, Bill, and his buddy, Charlie. They're trapped in the building across the street. Hans mentioned they're both NCPD. Both grade-A gonks, too. Sometimes do side gigs around town. Wanted to cut a deal with Dodger, but things obviously went south. Bill called me from inside, said only that, and I quote, it's bad. And if I don't get help, Dodger will paint the walls with their brains. It's bad. Nothing else. It's really bad, Stella. Please get help. I love you. <laughs> Sweet of him, but not really what I was after. When I asked what happened, he said it was too complicated for a quick hollow. So, Bill's your fiancé, Charlie's his partner. What else can you tell me about him? Bill. Bill's a good guy, but Charlie? He's like the big older brother that gets you into all kinds of shit. Okay, so we don't like Charlie. <laughs> Look, Night City's turned all of us into who we are, but Charlie? He's a fucking magnet for trouble. Always has been. So you, Bill, and Charlie are all badges with a whole precinct full of badge tombs at your back, but instead you call him Merc. Dodger's not exactly a legit businessman. Can't call dispatch for this. They'll crucify us. Why's Dodger got you all shaken at the knees? He's a dealer with close ties to Hansen. Total psycho, too. Move to Dogtown to avoid serious prison time. Just please try not to wipe Dodger's men. You'll make things go from bad to worse. Take this access card. Dodger took over an abandoned NCPD precinct. Security systems are still up and running, so this should get you in without a hitch. Upsides of last-gen NCPD tech, huh? Save them. Please. What now? New magazine detected. Message to user.
still ain't here. That's one long-ass drive. How the fuck should I know? Was supposed to be here like an hour ago. Yup. Except he's not. Riddle me that. active for up to several minutes after decapitation. For Christ's sake, there's a switch to the right. Use it. My right? your right. My fucking right! Hello? Who's asking, Charlie or Bill? It's Charlie! So Stella did Sometimes manage to find someone. Vast majority Thank of fuck! Are committed okay. by men. Let's try Just to get like this open. Fucking slab this thing! Little help! Won't budge. Better step back. Jesus fucking Christ! I know. What the fuck? Don't worry. Not my blood. <laughs> the hell happened? Uh, better see for yourself. It's just through here. What in the... This is Bill. Hi. Who's your friend? Uh, who, me? Just told you, I I'm Bill. Thanks, Bill, got that. No, I mean the dead fucking body on the table you somehow failed to mention to Stella. We, we, we didn't kill him, okay? We, we, we swear. Let's see. Two blood-soaked dudes locked in a room with a gutted corpse. Yeah, real puzzler. Better take ages for a detective to unravel this one. Go on. Tell him about your genius idea. My idea? 
You're the one who set up the deal with was Dodger. rock fucking solid. If only you didn't leave a bag of drugs in front of a junkie. How was I supposed to know he'd swallow it? You say drugs? Oh, you go. No, you. I swear to fucking God. Went like this. Choom over here clips Dodger's shit. Hightails it to NC. We catch wind, Dodger's put out a bounty to bag him. Bring back his nose candy. Bump right into him during a routine stop. Dumb fucking luck. Choom was carrying seven ounces of sin coke. So we cuffed him. Took him here. Jim swallowed seven whole ounces? That, that even possible? So we're here, waiting on Dodger, when Bill pops the baggie on the table like it's nothing. All of a sudden, this gonk turd yells, Fuck you, pigs, and stuffs the bag in his mouth! Could've had a food tube implant? Like a deep, wide throat? Yeah, like the one your mom's got. Fuck you even talking about, Bill! Couldn't get him to just spit it out? We tried to make a trek oh tr track it tra f fuck. Poke a fucking hole in his neck. No dice. Bag must have broke cause he got all foamy at the mouth. Started spazzing out and then just croaked. That's when we started to panic. This fool gulped tens of thousands worth of eddies. What the fuck else are we supposed to do? If the bag already broke. Why bother trying to play Operation? We panicked, alright? Shit happens. <sighs> this... It's all gone. Dissolved. And now Dodger's gonna end us. So you bring him the thief who swiped his dope. Only now there's no thief. Or dope. Yeah. It's about the gist of it. You gotta help us get out of here. Couldn't it just up and left on your own? Well, we kind of left our iron in the squad car. Just keeps getting better. Where is it? In the garage. To the garage we it's go. It's official, V. Finally made it to the major leagues. League of first class leadheads, to be precise. Nice of you to join us, Johnny. Oh, Always value your info. me if she finds out what we did. I'm a dead man walking. Know what you could use? What? A nice big pair of balls. Oh, cause you're such a tough guy? Not like you stutter in front of the cap every fucking time. I don't fucking stutter. Mm, Let us through yeah. here before. Don't stop. What was the code again? 2893? It was 2983. Idiot, it was 2893. Saw him punch it. Go on. Didn't work. Ha! <laughs> ah! 2983, I fucking told you. Dodger school. Careful. Hey, no killing, all right? Got enough problems as it is. Yeah, good luck with that. I didn't kill him, he killed himself. Shit! Another door. It's sealed tight. Again? Come on, guys. Hey, this wasn't us, okay? Gotta be a switch around here somewhere. Dodger will drown us in eddies, Bill. The plan is foolproof, Bill. Trust me, I know what I'm saying, Bill. <sighs> Shut up, Bill. So what if it's fucking Pacifica? What, too pussy to set foot there, Bill? Afraid of earning some serious scratch? Says the asshole who couldn't keep a bag in his fucking pocket. I'm under his head! Go check it out. Give him all you got! Well, I said no killing, so. Do something! Oh, 
fucking done with this shit. Soon as this is over, I'm gonna retire and open me up a Scott Dog stand. <laughs> Serious scratch to be made in wieners. Yeah, they're not I'll dead. Screw you. Screw you. Come on. Let's get the hell out of here. Very bad Squad cars right through here. You do have them, don't you? The keys. Shit. Wait, don't tell me you left them upstairs. Chill, Chum. Got them right here. Fellas. Oh, am I early? We, uh, we can explain. Quiet. You, I don't know. Care to introduce yourself? Got hired by these two to help. Oh, <laughs> they look like they could use a hand, all right. One thing I can't put my finger on, though. What's that you got on your faces? A little ketchup? Run out of napkins? Uh, yeah, well, uh, no, not us, per se. You any better at speaking full sentence? Um, uh, there was a shootout. Uh, a guy got hit, uh, was, was bleeding out fast. Uh, after that, brought your stuff here, uh, left it all upstairs, so it's all good. Another smooth talker. All right, third time's a charm. Is he spinning yarns? Done playing games. Mind if we skip to the part where we try to zero each other? Thought you. Never ask. Eat shit, psycho! Safe to come out. Dodger ain't breathing. Is it over? Yup, nothing left but hop in your ride, flee the scene. I'm sure you can manage that much. Thanks. So are we going or what? Yeah, yeah. Hey, thanks again. Okay, I'll radio us in, tell him we're back. Wait, I'll get Stella on the hollow first. So tell me, what did our boys in blue do this time? Swear to Christ, if someone asks me one more time... Prickly today, are we? I'll make do without details. If the client is happy, then so am I. Contract closed. Fuckers want to fight! Uh. Blow your head uh. off, please! 